Hello friends, welcome to Sidza.com. Here in this video, we will learn about the redox reactions in terms of oxidation number. We will find the substances which undergo oxidation and the reduction in a chemical reaction. Here in this reaction, the magnesium reacts with the HCl and forms the magnesium chloride and the hydrogen gas. Magnesium in the elemental state is oxidation number is zero, but here in this compound the magnesium has got the oxidation number of plus two. Okay, hydrogen is plus one here, hydrogen here is zero, chlorine here is minus one, here again it is minus one. Okay, in magnesium you see the increase in the oxidation number. And there is no change in oxidation number of the chlorine. Chlorine from the reactant side here, it is minus one, here also the minus one, so it neither undergoes oxidation nor reduction. But hydrogen, it changes its oxidation number from plus one to the zero. Okay? So that means there is, in hydrogen, it is, there is decrease in oxidation number, and in magnesium, it is increase in the oxidation number. Increase in oxidation number is called oxidation. So that means here the magnesium undergoes oxidation. So this is oxidation. So we can say magnesium undergoes oxidation because the oxidation number of the magnesium increases. Okay. So we can say that increase in oxidation number is called oxidation. and decrease in oxidation number refers to the reduction. So that means magnesium undergoes oxidation and the hydrogen it changes the oxidation number from plus 1 to 0 so it is decreased in oxidation number therefore it is reduction. So hydrogen undergoes reduction, magnesium undergoes oxidation. The substance which undergoes oxidation is called as a reducing agent, right? So magnesium here is a reducing agent. A substance which itself undergoes oxidation is actually a reducing agent right and the substance which undergoes reduction is an oxidizing agent so here the hydrochloric acid HCl acts as an oxidizing agent because you know we can say here it's because of magnesium that HCl undergoes reduction or you can say it's because of HCl magnesium undergoes oxidation so oxidation of the magnesium is due to the HCl, so we can see this is an HCl is an oxidizing agent. So similarly, HCl it undergoes reduction is because of magnesium, right? So that's why the magnesium will be called as a reducing agent. Let's take another example to understand it for you know more clearly. Carbon here in the elemental state, oxidation number is zero, oxygen in the elemental state oxidation number is zero we have learned it right in our last in our previous video here the carbon will be our carbon is in plus four oxygen state and oxygen here is minus two so carbon so this is increase in oxidation number from zero to plus four Increase in oxidation number is called oxidation, so carbon undergoes oxidation. And oxygen over here from 0 to minus 2. Oxidation number decreases from 0 to minus 2. Decrease in oxidation number is called reduction. So oxygen undergoes reduction. 
the substance which undergoes oxida oxidation is called as a reducing agent and the substance which undergoes reaction is called as an oxidizing agent so it's because of oxygen that carbon is oxidized that's why oxygen is an oxidizing agent or you can say it's because of carbon oxygen undergoes reduction so that's why carbon will be called here as a reducing agent okay the substance which undergoes oxidation itself it undergoes oxidation but will be called as a reducing agent the substance which itself undergoes reduction will be called as an oxidizing agent let's take another example hbr reacts with the chlorine and forms hcl and the br2 hydrogen over here has a oxidation number of plus 1 bromine the minus 1 chlorine 0 hydrogen again plus 1 chlorine minus 1 bromine 0 Now, with hydrogen, there is no in change in oxidation number. Okay. Chlorine from zero to minus one, so this is decrease in oxidation number, and decrease in oxidation number is called reduction. So we can say chlorine undergoes reduction. And the bromine from Br minus one to the zero, oxidation number changes from. Minus one to zero, so this is a decrease in oxidation number. Sorry, this is increase in oxidation number. Minus one to zero, bromine changes from minus one to zero, so this is increase in oxidation number. That's called oxidation. So chlorine is an oxidizing agent, and HBO here. is a reducing agent right hbr will be a will be called as a reducing agent here in another example copper oxide and ammonia reacts and forms copper nitrogen and then the water h2 copper here is in plus 2 oxygen state oxygen is minus 2 nitrogen here is uh, minus 3 hydrogen is plus 1 copper 0 nitrogen 0 hydrogen plus 1 oxygen minus 2 right so there is no change in oxidation number of the oxygen which is minus 2 here no change in the oxidation state of the hydrogen okay but we find the change in oxidation number of nitrogen from minus 3 to 0 from minus 3 to 0 so increase in oxidation number from minus 3 to 0 so this is oxidation So nitrogen undergoes oxidation, but the copper from plus two to zero oxidation number. This is decrease in oxidation number, so therefore it is reduction. So copper undergoes reduction, nitrogen undergoes oxidation. Okay, so ammonia will be called as a reducing agent here, and the copper oxide will be called as oxidizing agent. So it is because of copper oxide that ammonia is getting oxidized let's take another example here the copper in this case is plus 1 oxygen is minus 2 copper this one is again plus 1 sulfur is minus 2 oxygen state copper here in the elemental state zero sulfur will be plus 4 and oxygen is minus 2 okay now there is no change in oxidation state of the oxygen you can see here Minus two, minus two here, same thing. But there's increase in the oxidation number and decrease in the oxidation number of copper and sulfur. So copper from plus one to zero, copper change from plus one to zero. So this is decrease in oxidation number. So decrease in oxidation number is called reduction, right? 
that is called reduction so copper undergoes a reduction while as the sulfur changes from its oxidation state from minus 2 to the plus 4 which means that from minus 2 to plus 4 oxidation number increases so therefore sulfur undergoes oxidation so sulfur is being oxidized here so this is oxidation right and therefore copper oxide will be called as an oxidizing agent and uh, copper sulfide is called reducing agent another example sulfur dioxide breaks with the chlorine and forms uh, in presence of water forms HCl and the sulfuric acid H2SO4 so let's see the sulfur dioxide here again plus 4 oxidation state oxygen is minus 2 chlorine is 0 hydrogen is plus 1 oxygen is minus 2 here plus 1 minus 1 plus 1 hydrogen sulfur is actually plus 6 here right here it is in the plus 6 oxygen state and the oxygen is minus 2 okay so this is minus 2 and there is no change in the oxidation state of the hydrogen here you can see the plus 1 and plus 1 here in both cases right oxygen minus 2 here here and also here so there is no change in the oxidation state of the oxygen or the hydrogen but look at this sulfur what about the sulfur sulfur from plus 4 to the plus 6 this is increase in oxidation number right from plus 4 to the plus 6 increase in oxidation number is called oxidation so sulfur undergoes oxidation what about the chlorine from 0 to minus 1 this is decrease in oxidation number and decrease in oxidation number is called reduction so chlorine undergoes reduction and the sulfur dioxide it undergoes oxidation so we can say chlorine is here oxidizing agent and the sulfur dioxide is a reducing agent right hope you got the concept thanks for watching the video bye for now